Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Faster Problems YouTube channel. On this episode, we cover a number of issues of what we've had going on with Uncle Sam. We've had some nagging problems, we engineer some solutions, I go test Uncle Sam out on the road and get pulled over. Now within that, I have scattered little bits and pieces of some of our unique perspective of filming at the Freedom Factory. I hope you guys enjoy. Guys, last time we were out with Uncle Sam, we tore him up a little bit more than we had actually thought. So, small little problem when the belt got wrapped around the balancer, we had a problem. No, it's an oil leak. This thing never leaked oil before. We lose those little strands of belt. They go everywhere in the engine bay. They get behind the balancer. There's not very much clearance back there. Rubs the front of the seal out, and then you get an oil leak. But yeah, we had all of our belt was wrapped up around here, and again, the front seal keeps all the oil in the engine, and it was not in the engine anymore. So it was trying to escape. Escape. If on to another thing of what you're tackling here today. We have had a coolant issue with our whole blower system for a long time, almost getting kicked off the tracks. We really don't want that. Our cheap trunk tank had to go. We got a better one here, so let's go take a look at it. Oh, actually, one other thing that we forgot to cover. Guys, we were having a big problem with our power steering, and that really, really sucked. When we had Ryan come out, he had replaced the power steering front pump for us, and so far, so good right now. We've been ripping it, and it uh, hasn't missed a beat. Give it about today. Dude, it really does look good. We got our lights back on. So I had to get rid of your two by fours in the bottom. Oh man. Your plumber strapping and your sheetrock screws. And... I opened it yesterday and the funk in there was awful. Yeah, I pulled wet towels out. So we've been kind of cultivating a mold spawn right here. And uh, we're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna get all our junk out. So those were our rickety two by fours that were sitting there holding our meth tank in there. Julio Alki Control. He likes doing brackets like that. We're just gonna do the nut certs into the body and that'll pull down tight. Now guys, you can get something just like this from Motion Raceworks and they have really helped us out a lot. Now, unfortunately, this one did not get this one from Motion Raceworks and Laz is probably cursing me under his breath and the fact that we had to modify this quite a bit. So this guy, we're adapting this thing in order to be able to take the Rule 2000 pump. It's gonna be a hell of a lot better than what we had. Hey, where did our old, uh, where's the old tank at? Oh no, we're not dumping that. Oh man, served me well. If you guys could only smell hey, that. Sh show them how that hose, you could empty the tank. Pull it out, that's pretty neat how you could do that. Yeah. Show them, I, what, is it slimy, what? I... Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, and no, I'm not picking it up, I've done that before. But it was pretty awesome, the fact that while that was going, we could just pick it up and then pee it out. Oh, it's so like convenient. Looks like a bait well. Grabbing a catfish. Yeah. It's, oh it's man, sliding. a little super clean. Yeah. We can freaking start putting drinks in there, bring it to the track. All right, George, we're going air to water on the turbo system. Hey, guys, 300,000. George is getting his turbo kit on there. That's what I'm talking about. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget, please, please tell somebody. Tell a friend. <laughs> guys this is my son and he is really coming up as a young fabricator probably the youngest welder that i've seen and uh we got a nice task here for you son knock it out boy not bad for a 13 year old man freaking killing it out here son good Thanks, job man Dad. so these are some of the things that my son does you guys are interested in something like that hit us up a little entrepreneur trying to make some money in jericho let's go see what george is up to diving deep old son <laughs> getting in there what, what are we seeing man i'm seeing i need to give him better shape lay <laughs> off the cheeseburgers i'm losing my breath just laying here <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard like Fatty McGee from uh, Adam Sandler like way back in the day? <laughs> Fatty McGee, Adam Sandler. Oh, it's a great crack up Anything there. Anything Adam Sandler, right? The bracketry of what you guys got going on here looks awesome. I, I, uh, better than the old ratchet straps, you think? Yeah, yeah, and the wood and stuff, it's 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 better. I would say you it's an upgrade. Nice heavy duty bracket there. I like it, man. We're looking really, really good. This is a flattering shot, I'll have you know. 
Dude, those are some pretty sweet wrenches. Guys, I've always wanted to have a set of these wrenches. It's one of those things that I just was like, you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get those. I have no idea why. I, it just felt unobtainable. I have no idea why. I mean, so it's probably... <laughs> You know, I feel like I finally made it now. <laughs> All right, so that is a much more superior placement right there than what we had. Yesterday, you were torquing the wheels, and I was over here trying to sling that in, and I'm spilling as you're torquing the wheels, and the car is rocking back and forth. I think I got most of the methanol inside the tank. I'm glad that we're going to rid this thing of the uh, rotten turtle tank with, like, dead turtle smell in it. Something like that. It's awful. So. Fire in the hole! That is the worst sound ever. What was that? Oh, I'm just spraying stuff on it. Don't worry. You just keep going. <laughs> I thought it was going to quiet, quiet up the belt. No, it just made it louder. Oh, that's the sticky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe. Oh, my God, dude. That's horrible. Let's put some more on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. That's terrible. Well, at least we know the belt's gripping. She ain't slipping. Somebody had gifted us with a box of this, and it really does work good on the dyno, I will admit. Come on, George, quick infomercial here. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> it's already working. <laughs> I mean, you're such a good salesman, you really should do an infomercial. In fact, well, I would probably even venture to say that you're probably as good as or better than Jimmy Jack Stan. AeroTech is fast acting, three spray settings, adjustable pattern, it does it all. You could put it on rubber, cement, Concrete, asphalt, metal, steel, concrete. <laughs> it's gonna grip till there ain't no slip. If you wanna get your hands on some of this here AeroTac, you contact uh, us at 888-721-SEAL. Yeah, that looks so much better in there. Look at that flow. I mean, you know, we could probably put some hot dogs in there. Hot dogs? Yeah, because it's going to be warm at some point, you know. Yeah. Have you ever drank the hot dog water? No. Okay. I drank pickle juice, Italian vinegar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I cannot wait to get into Uncle Sam tomorrow. All those fresh meats we got. Four fresh tires, first time I think we've ever done that on Uncle Sam. Waiting to get vaporized. Love, love the ring of that. Guys, we got a special thing from VMP and this is a little secret. So guys, we made a 1007 wheel horsepower with our 2650 and this right here is an upgraded one of which is supposed to be able to make quite a bit more power. So Georgie, open her up, man. I know, you were sneaking a peek a second ago, man. Uh, yeah, I was like- gotta see what we're working with here. Ah. So we're gonna turn it back up once we get our all our suspension and stuff dialed in. We're getting there slowly but surely, guys, but this is going to really be able to blow the lid off of whatever we were able to make. Now, Justin over at VMP says, hey, this thing should be able to make about 30 to 50 wheel horsepower more. This is the same 2650 from Magnuson, except it's been modified. Now we'll be able to take a look at the factory one uh, and look at both the front side and the outlet and see what has been modified, but dude, that does look CNC ported a little bit more, doesn't it? Does that look opened up a bit more? This is definitely opened up, but yeah, I don't... Yeah, did this here. And you can see where the old color was, but yeah, they definitely did. 
So now the majority of the airflow is going to come from right here and even then more so right there is what we've experienced porting our or well, porting LSA blowers and pretty much all the factory style blowers. Well, I can't wait to tear apart the factory one and take a look at this thing and really turn this up. But uh, man, north of over a thousand wheel horsepower is really what we're looking at. And Justin said, hey, even turn it up more. He's like, you can take the cogs in the back and get the next size down. You should be able to make a couple more pounds with that. Really should be able to show what he's done with that blower right there. It just so happened to be the same freaking cars that we have right there. And uh, hey, they're looking pretty good. I'm really, really actually quite jealous of those Steelys. They look so sick. I don't have the center caps on mine. I definitely want to get some of those. Sam is looking absolutely sick, ready for freaking battle tomorrow. Yeah, actually I've never seen that either. Well, so is it? Yeah, there you go. This thing, that's that the bright. You, you can turn the brightness down on the. Oh wait, no. The they... lights. Say that again. The new, the new ones have a. You can turn the brightness down on the lights. Gosh, that is blinding, though. Man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, I did. I think I might have peed just a little bit. Uncle Sam is a very loud vehicle and definitely alerted anybody and everybody around in the area that we were out messing around. And guys, I thought for sure I was going to jail. And by the grace of God, I did not. So at times when it most certainly seems like there is no hope and no way of uh, co coming out of a situation unscathed, you can. And uh, it, I'm here to tell you, it definitely, definitely happens. And we've seen it many, many, many times in the past where it seems like there's absolutely no hope we were able to make something happen. Kind of in part why we kind of like the underdog racing. We've had some pretty crazy victories when stuff just does not seem like it was even remotely possible. So thank you guys for your continued support. You guys are really the best. Let's help grow this thing to 300,000. Man, let's get that turbo on George's truck. Guys, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. We'll see you next episode.